What's up YouTube? This is Eric here and I want to talk about this bass, the Chinese Lemmy bass. What's good about it? What's bad about it? Should you buy one? Let's find out. So let's start with the bad things. The first bad thing would be actually ordering off Aliexpress. It could take a while. So for me I ordered a bass and then the seller sent me a picture of a completely different bass right, than what was in the picture. So I had to tell him, no, 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 not this bass. It should be like this, like this. You know, it was the wrong bridge. It didn't look right. So, you know, and then it took him 30 days to get me the new bass and then an additional uh, three weeks for it to, you know, arrive at my home. So it could take a while, just be aware of that. All right, next bad thing, pickups. They're not, not good. <laughs> so when I got it, the pickups were very microphonic, like you would touch them like this and it would be extremely loud noise. I mean, you can still hear it a little bit, this knocking, but at first it was extremely loud. It, it was almost unplayable because if you would have your hand on the pickup like this, it would pick up on all the noises of the finger touching the pickup and you would get this tick 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 sound when you're playing so I had to have them waxed I mean you could either repl replace the pickups or uh, I chose to have them waxed but uh, I'm, I'm happy with the result they're more quiet now and they actually sound good this one and this one sound really good but this one is broken uh, there's some strange issue with it if you compare that's the middle and then I do the bridge. There's almost no sound. Just a little bit. So it's broken in some way, which really sucks. But I'm probably gonna, you know, put in another pickup there sometime. All right, now, I mean, these two sound good and I use this one mostly. So um, it's all right, you know, but of course it would be nice to have that sorry possibility to run this pickup as well and speaking of the pickups uh, originally it comes with a three-way switch right so up would be neck middle you would get all three down uh, would be the middle and the bridge so this leaves a lot of options that you cannot do so what I did I had this guy who works my pickups he installed three little mini switches for me, uh, one for each pickup. So it's it's just an on off for every pickup. So now I can get every conceivable uh, combination of the pickups. Plus it lets me run the middle pickup on its own, which is my favorite setting on the bass. It gets that kind of a little bit P bassy sound. All right, uh, next bad thing. Yes, overall fit and finish is not perfect, but I mean, probably you're not gonna expect that from a cheap Chinese bass like this. I mean, there are little um, masking uh, errors. So obviously this side and this side of the body are painted and there's a little bit bleed right here, like the masking work uh, in, in this part. It's not perfect. There's a little wonky line right there. And um, just small stuff like the binding here is not perfectly flush with the body. <sighs> what else? Uh, I mean, just the overall look is not perfect, right? It's not like if you would buy a, a real Rickenbacker base. I mean, those just look beautiful and perfect, right? This one is a little bit more rough. It still looks very nice, I, I, I think, but it's not, you know, a very precise job in, in the finish and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's about all the bad stuff uh, for me. So let's into, get into the good stuff. And the most important uh, thing is that it plays very well. I really like how this bass feels to play. It's, it's just, the neck feels really stable, 
it adjusts nicely the thrust rod works great right now i got a, a real nice low action without too too much buzzing i even got it tuned down to e flat right now and it's still it's really stable how does it play how does it feel and i must say i think it feels very good actually it's like i think it feels better than than the fender jazz bass that i have to be honest uh it, i i just really like playing it and uh yeah next good thing i mean obviously it, it looks <laughs> it looks cool right so i think they did a good job with just getting a nice look on the bass uh, you know, it's just sweet backside. Yeah, so it's even a, a real next through construction, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, the bridge is good. I think the tuners are good as well. Easy to tune it, very precise. Uh, bridge is very easy to adjust, set the intonation, uh, adjust the string height. It's much easier to deal with than a Rickenbacker 4003 bridge, <laughs> you know, it's just very easy. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything about the bass. And uh, so let's just hear some sound samples. How? Does the bass sound? All right, here we go. All right, so I'm in here in my studio and I just recorded some bass. So I did three tracks. Uh, the first one is uh, pick style, and then I do the second one, some slapping. And I'm not a slapper, by the way, so apologies for that. And uh, the third song is like a reggae uh, little thing, uh, finger style. So you got pick slap finger style and uh, the first time through uh, we're gonna do it without any effects without anything just straight into the into the computer you know as is and then we're gonna play it a second time uh, where I've added some effects compression and the like so hope you enjoy <laughs> 